like a bell cut. Gliss Speed This electric, eco-friendly boat will make you feel like you're driving a go-kart on the water. It's easy to drive and it's not demanding. It can speed up to 16 miles per hour and you don't even need a license to drive it. Thanks to its universal construction, this little vehicle can carry one or two people, but the max weight of each passenger is 240 pounds. Charging the boat takes almost two hours, and it'll be enough for a two-hour ride at top speed. The boat is 8.2 feet long and 4 feet wide, and it weighs 137 pounds with the battery. The battery itself weighs 46 pounds. It's easily removable, and if you buy extra batteries, you could endlessly drive this water go-kart. This small electric boat has three different speed modes, and it's perfect for both private water parks and renting it on the seashore. Hard Drive Marine LC7 This unusual boat, produced by a company specialized on landing craft, can reach up to a great speed and use its nose as a boarding platform. It has solid beach crawling spikes to hold onto the shore and pull itself to it, which allows the passengers to exit the boat without getting their feet wet. When it's time to float off, the boat pushes itself from the shore. Besides, these spikes can be used as anchors. But that's not all. Some models also have a modular wheelhouse that can move 12 feet forward, then back. The length of this boat is about 30 feet, which allows you to carry even big cargo like small cars. Scubster This electrical submarine is like a sports car for diving. The creators of this invention wanted to make the underwater world even more accessible for people. And they did it. The price of this individual submarine is that of a cheap car, but it's totally worth it. The length of this underwater vehicle is about 10 feet, the body's made of carbon fiber, and it's capable of holding one person with the scuba set. The submarine, which weighs 66 pounds without taking the diver into account, can descend to a depth of up to 200 feet. It works on an electric motor powered by two lithium-ion batteries that drives two turbines located on the sides of the vessel. Each battery provides about an hour of free movement underwater. The speed of such a submarine is about 5 miles per hour. Noteworthy is the fact that in a single cabin there's enough space not only for the diver himself, but also for additional equipment or a pair of replaceable batteries. This unusual vehicle moves above the water, i.e. it's a kind of aircraft, although it's been officially classified as a sea vessel. What you're looking at is a wing-in-ground effect vehicle. This term is used to refer to aircraft that fly a couple of meters above the water's surface. With the help of special devices, this vehicle creates an air cushion. It generates high pressure underneath it, which allows the vehicle to remain in the air. This vehicle was developed by Widget Works to transport passengers between mainland China and insular Singapore. Airfish 8 has an interesting W shape. It's not very spacious and can only carry eight passengers on board. On the other hand, the Airfish 8 moves at an impressive speed of up to 196 kilometers per hour. Another advantage is that it doesn't need a dock or an airfield. The Airfish 8 only needs open water to take off and land, and there's plenty of it around the islands. Red Shark Bike Some water vehicles are designed to allow their owners to contemplate the surroundings and peacefully enjoy the moment. The Trimaran Adventure from the Spanish company Red Shark Bike is a great example. It reaches a small but comfortable speed. You have to pedal to move forward, but that is not a problem. The side elements keep the Trimaran balanced. The Adventure model also has space to carry a small number of personal items. It should be noted that this model is not the only one in the brand's range. 
People with an active lifestyle will surely like the fitness version better. A ride on this vehicle can replace a thorough workout. Both vehicles have a folding design, so they're easy to transport to. Manta 5 Hydrofoil Bikes Here we have another interesting pedal-powered device. It's developed by the company Manta 5 in New Zealand. When you ride this vehicle, it might look incredibly weird to pass us by. Because due to its special design, it looks like you're riding a bicycle on the water. But this is not the case. It's actually a bicycle equipped with hydrofoils. They're made of carbon fiber and are responsible for keeping the vehicle afloat while you ride it. You don't have to worry about braking either. Special modules ensure that you're always afloat. Just like on a real bike, you have to pedal to move the vehicle. However, it's not difficult at all. The electric motor will help you overcome the resistance of the water. The model is compact and relatively light. It weighs about 20 kilograms. The modular design makes it easier and more comfortable to transport. Speed Snap Global vehicle manufacturers are increasingly thinking about what transport will look like in the near future. A few years ago at the CES show in Las Vegas, the Swiss company Rinspeed presented its own vision, the Snap Modular Drone. It's a transforming vehicle consisting of only two components. The first is a platform known as Skateboard. The second is Pod, a module for the passengers. The idea is that these two components can be developed and modified independently. The fact is that technology in today's world is developing very, very quickly. New chassis become obsolete just a few years after they're invented. However, passenger cabins don't require much modification. Thus, according to this idea, after a couple of years of operation, Snap will replace the lower, outdated chassis module with a more advanced one. Thus, the vehicle will meet the highest standards at minimum cost. As you can see, the vehicle doesn't need a driver. Snap can reach speeds of up to 80 km per hour. The battery charge will be enough to cover 100 km. At first glance, it's not too much, but it is more than enough for use within the city. The passenger module fits four people. However, instead of it, Snap can be equipped with a shop or, for example, a mobile office. So, Rinspeed is a vehicle with a wide range of applications. Eximus Vehicle You've all seen cars that use electricity instead of fuel, probably even more than once. But what if we told you that electric vehicles can move not only on roads, but also on railway tracks? But we're getting ahead of ourselves. Every year, Sweden holds the Delsbo Electric Competition, in which students compete to create the most energy-efficient vehicle. The vehicles are tested on rails. In 2016, Eximus, a joint venture of engineers from the University of Dalarna and Chalmers University of Technology, took first place. Since then, the team has been in first place each time, showing a more advanced vehicle. The latest model, the Eximus 4, has set a world record, becoming the most energy-efficient vehicle in the world. Externally, the car resembles a wheeled sled. This shape, however, was not chosen by chance. It helps to reduce air resistance. The materials for construction are chosen to be ultra-light and are usually used in aviation. Like a bell cut.